Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. We'll begin with the breaking news we first told you about on ClickOnDetroit.com. The bodies of 11 infants discovered inside a shutdown funeral home on Detroit's east side. The remains were found after an anonymous tip was sent to state regulators this afternoon. When they searched the building, they found the bodies of 11 infants hidden inside the ceiling. The discovery was made at the site of the old Cantrell funeral home on Mack Avenue. Germont Terry is live on the scene there inside the funeral home in Germont. Uh, this is the same funeral home that was shut down in April for deplorable conditions. You're correct, Kimberly. Cantrell Funeral Home shut down six months ago for improperly storing bodies, not to mention the filthy conditions that the state said was inside. The new owners of this facility, they have allowed us inside because investigators, they just left the scene. But what investigators found, and I should say where they found it, is really just alarming. We're going to take our cameras and show you. Police say it was up this ladder, and if I repair our camera up, and in that ceiling is where they made the gruesome discovery of those 11 infants. The dumpster outside the former Cantrell funeral home is where trash goes. But Detroit police say the remains of 11 infants were treated just like garbage when their bodies were stuffed hidden in the ceiling. Nine infants were boxed together in a plain cardboard box. Two were in a casket. Simple as that. It's just very disheartening right now. Disheartening and downright disturbing. Detroit police now say an anonymous tip to the state brought investigators here. The building, which operated as a funeral home on East Mac for decades, was in the process of getting renovated into a community center. The new owners opened the door for investigators, and that's when they searched the hidden compartments in the ceiling, making the gruesome discovery. Some bodies have a t had a tag on them re referring back to 2009. Um, some bodies had receipts on them as if the person or family didn't finish paying. Back in April, when the state shut down Cantrell for deplorable conditions and leaving bodies in garages, the owner, Raymond Cantrell, admitted to it. Were you, in fact, storing bodies in the garage? Uh, yes, so that we wouldn't have an aroma filling up the funeral home. But Friday night, over the phone, Mr. Cantrell told me. Did you order or did any of your staff members, were they ordered to hide bodies? My staff? Yes. No, sir. Cantrell took over the family-run business in 2017. Within that year, the funeral home lost its license. Cantrell insists the problems were there prior to his arrival. Not off the top of my head, sir, all my human remains were found and discovered and transferred by the state of Michigan in April. This appears to be someone who either placed these bodies there or potentially worked here. Is that part of your investigation? Uh, obviously, they had knowledge. You're not going to just guess. So whether they're an employee or whether they actually did it, we don't know yet. On behalf of my family, I'm really sorry that that happened. I am totally appalled at the fact that it occurred. And there you heard Mr. Cantrell offering an apology for what you are looking at right here and where those remains were. Now, Detroit police, they tell me they want to talk to Mr. Cantrell. Over the phone tonight, when I talked to Mr. Cantrell, he said, if Detroit police, if they reach out to him, he will talk. Mr. Cantrell currently lives out of the state. Reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4. My goodness, Jermont, any idea how long it'll take to identify the bodies in their families? Yeah. <sighs> Kimberly, you, I mean, this is just one of those stories that's just unbelievable. When we broke it online, many people were just could not believe it. Now, one thing we do know, there were some paperwork connected with some of the 11 bodies. Um, but right now, as you heard that officer mention, those dates go back to 2009. So they have to first look at the paperwork, try to track down family members and figure out if the people are still in the area. So a lot to uh, go through over the next couple of days. Yeah. Back to you. It is truly upsetting. Astonishing, yeah, yes. It really is. Okay, Dramont.